Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. When you travel, a lot of times you look in your hotel room and you find one of those cheesy little coffee makers. They don't look like they do a very good job and they definitely put out some questionable coffee. Well, today we're going to start a series trying to help you guys avoid that questionable coffee when you're on the road. We're going to look at different ways to make coffee easily in a hotel room. On a separate note, is a jet boil good for anything other than boiling water? Let's find out. Now, one of my most popular videos that I've ever put out was a review of the Jetboil Flash system. The fact that that video is so popular is no surprise to me because it is a wonderful product at doing one thing and one thing very well, boiling water. Thankfully, the people at Jetboil use their old noggins and realize that very frequently we're boiling water to make coffee. So they made a very wise choice and decided to make an affordable attachment that would make your Jetboil Flash into a coffee press. Let me show you guys how it works. First of all, it's very space saving because it comes in three pieces. You've got the actual filter here and then two pieces that allow it to turn into a plunger, basically. Now the way you do this is you get the top of your Jetboil. This center staff has a large end and a small end. The large end is what goes into the actual filter. And then you take your other part and it goes straight through the hole on the top of the Jetboil and you just screw it on. It'll start up high like this, you just press it through. The entire thing weighs 0.8 ounces, so it's certainly not going to weigh you down on the trail. Importantly, it does come in two sizes, the regular and the grande. This is the regular that fits the flash. If you're looking to fit one of the wider versions, make sure you get that grande. The other good thing is it only costs about 10 bucks. It does seem a little bit expensive. It doesn't feel like the most high priced thing in the world, but in the end, $10 is cheaper than buying an entire new press, and it does fit in with your jet bowl nicely. Let's make some coffee. All right, guys, so you see this orange indicates when it's going to get to a boil. You want to stop it just before it gets there. All right, next thing you want to do is get your coffee. Always fresh grind your coffee, guys. I've just fresh ground some in my travel grinder here. Mmm, it smells good. I like to do a pretty fine grind. It seems to really put out the, the flavor. This is probably about two tablespoons of coffee for this two cups, okay? Give it a stir. Now you want to add this. Make sure that these little wings here are facing up. Okay, so you're going to start it down. And I like to put it down until I feel it hit the water, just like that. Then hold it, put your top on. We're going to let it steep for about two minutes, maybe three. It's been the required time, which is good because I am ready for some coffee. Put this top completely on. We're going to push this press nice and slowly down all the way till it hits bottom. Now we can get it, make sure everything is nice and tight. Let's pour out our coffee. A few grinds on top, that's because I left grinds here on my spoon, which is a foul ball. But there you go, a nice cup of coffee for the road. Well, it is thundering and lightning out there, but I got a good cup of coffee. I've mentioned in other videos that I don't take my Jetboil backpacking normally because I just think that the whole thing is a little bit too heavy and I don't like carrying that much weight. I work really hard to keep my weight down and keeping a one pound single purpose stove in my pack really doesn't seem like the smartest thing to do. So I make my own ultralight kits. But in situations like this, traveling, I love using my Jetboil. Now it's great for the trail as well. If you're looking for something that's gonna boil water very quickly, very efficiently, you can pack a little bit of extra stuff in here. A lot of people do use it for backpacking. This is just a personal preference. I think a situation like this fits me better. Recently, we also did some traveling. We went to Vancouver Island and I brought this with me and we were able to make hot chocolate, coffee, tea, whatever it was, anywhere we went. After I finally found some propane, I went to a bunch of different stores and I had a hard time finding it. Finally found it at a Canadian Tire and was able to use it, but it worked perfect for the trail up there because I wasn't carrying a lot of weight. We were just doing day hikes and it allowed 
me and my wife to have coffee and my kids to have hot chocolate. So as you can see, this system works perfectly well. It turned the Jet Bowl Flash, which is an awesome cook system, into a coffee press for less than one ounce. That's pretty hard to beat. Appreciate you guys joining me here on the channel. I'm gonna join my coffee here, do a little bit of planning because it is clearly thunderstorming outside and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Make sure you stay tuned in the coming weeks. We're gonna have more videos every Friday looking at travel options for making coffee when you're on the road or in a hotel room. This was the first in that series and I hope you stay tuned for more of them. Trying out several new products, pretty excited about those. Like I said guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiking MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon. <laughs>